Today I'm going to be working on my shop layout to maximize floor space, work area, and also to make it easier to use power tools. So what I do like, I like this workbench. Uh, I love that it's oak and mahogany, so it's really sturdy. Uh, I don't like its location because it's so close to the table saw. Something else I like is this unit at the back here. This unit where I can keep like a drill press and uh, oxygen spindle sander. I've got a bunch of storage as well with drawers and, and uh, uh, shelvings at the bottom. Something I want to improve on is this uh, workbench. I started it a few years back and it needs a new top to serve as an outfit table for my table saw. Also, I'm going to put some shelvings and some uh, doors on it. So this area right here is a big cluster of everything as well as you can see. There's power tools, there's material, so that's something I'm going to have to fix. Last but not least, the gardening area. Uh, this needs a complete makeover. This is coming down and I'm going to try to make a work surface for it. So I recreated my uh, work environment in AutoCAD with the proper dimensions for uh, the shop and the tools and, and everything so that way I was able to kind of uh, move stuff around on the screen and, and try to figure out what would work better uh, so this is my uh, layout that I have right now uh, those are the steps to come in my shop so there's a door here there's also a side door on the side here to go outside and my uh, overhead door at the front uh, so uh, this is my my assembly table my workbench. I have another assembly table here on the side and uh, the bench that's at the back where I have my drill press, my uh, oscillating spindle sander and my uh, dovetail tool chest right here. As for tools I have the the bandsaw, the table saw, the belt sander and the jointer here. Uh, the miter saw is right here with the, the wood rack so this section here I can't I can't move that. That won't be movable. Uh, this round little bit here is the uh, central, the, the house central vacuum. So that won't be, I won't be able to move that either. Uh, this is a, a shelving unit where I keep uh, books and uh, articles and stuff. So, uh, so that's the layout right now that I have. And the issue I have is that I, I can't add up uh, an outfit table on my table saw because there's no more room like even just to walk around here it's it's kind of tight so uh, I decided after uh, uh, looking at a lot of uh, articles and uh, pictures online I decided to kind of double up everything well not everything but double up the table saw itself with an outfit table so my assembly table that I have here is going to be turned 90 degrees and become my outfit table as well and I'm, I want to add a little downdraft sanding section on this end here so uh, this will be like a full unit and I'll be able to use it as an assembly and a, a table as well I'll be able so to put some uh, uh, drawers maybe or uh, some shelvings on, on the other side here so that's going to create more uh, storage as well as for my, my bandsaw uh, the bandsaw is right here and it's going to be moved like turn 180 degrees and put to the towards the wall and then I'll be able to resaw I'm gonna have enough room to resaw here if I need to and also by uh, putting all those tools close together what happens is when uh, I end up doing my dust collection system further down the road I'm gonna have I'm gonna be able to have like a, a down drain here and uh, pick up all my us from like the table saw the sanding section and the downdraft sanding section and the uh, the band saw so as for the workbench itself uh, basically what I do is uh, and, and that's my uh, oak open uh, workbench so what I, I do is just like flip it around and, and move it over to the the right side here and uh, I'll be able to add the jointer at the end and the sander so this way I've got those two kind of grouped together which I'll, I'll be able to do the dust collection as well this way and I'm gonna have enough room to walk around here and like an, an extra like if you if you look like the, the comparison between kind of 
the the small opening that I have here and like the other opening here it's kind of small compared to the amount of room I have here and this section here I don't know if you remember from the video but this is where I keep all the gardening stuff and uh, I, I want to get rid of all of that so what I was thinking is get another workbench or work area surface that uh, I'll be able to like do all my putting or whatever that needs to be done and it's close to the outside so uh, if my wife wants to work on that while I'm still working in the workshop like it, it won't be interfering uh, I might also add a shelf on top like uh, a bit higher just to put more storage and then I'll be able as well to put uh, shelvings underneath to put like pots and and uh, bags of uh, soil and that kind of stuff so uh, uh, also this shelving unit that I have here uh, I decided I was probably going to move it over here right by the 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 work bench that I have at the back here and uh, for the rest like this stays the same and this stays the same so uh, uh, it's going to be like a, a, a long term project so I'll, I'll be starting with the top of uh, the outfit table and then uh, probably like do all the shelvings and for that unit and then when that unit's done I'll be able to kind of start moving this one over and that one over here and so so this kind of corner would be the first kind of part of the project and then when that's done uh, I'll be able to kind of take down that garden section and kind of reorganize that and from there I'll, I'll be able to to see if I need more uh, storage or or if it if it's okay so this is the reclaimed wood that I have uh, it's all fur it's very close grain and uh, the thing I like about fur is that uh, it's uh, very very stable once it's dry now I already hear you guys saying like fur for a, a, a workbench top well I already have the one oak and mahogany workbench so all the hammering and, and the pounding is done on that one already so the other one is mostly for an outfit table so first thing is going to be to plane it um, I, I have like the grain direction so I want my grain direction to be vertical for the, the top of the workbench so uh, that's going to be my first thing and then I want also to line up all my boards in the proper way so when once I'm done with all the glue up I'll be able to plane it down with a, a hand plane and I obviously want to have all my green direction in the proper way. So that's going to be my first step. So the first thing I want to do is remove all the sand particles or dirt inside the, the, the wood pores uh, before I plane it down. Uh, that's going to protect my blades. So uh, I'm using a big steel brush and I'm going to remove all of that. So I've got four of the boards that I've brushed already and uh, what I want to make sure is that my grain is vertical on each and every one of them and then that my grain is uh, feeding the same way. Uh, because my planer is only 12 and a half inch wide, I'm going to have to do three blocks, uh, two, three separate blocks that I'm going to glue together and then after that I'll be able to glue the whole thing together. So those are the four first ones. Uh, so I made sure my grain was proper and I made sure that my uh, grain was going to be able to feed in the planer the proper way and now I'm going to do I'm going to put big pointing arrows just to make sure that I keep the same feeding way so I'll be able to feed wait a minute uh, yeah I'll be able to feed the arrows in first and that way uh, I know so like this end's going to be feeding in and the top is going to be plain. Then when it's the other way around, I'll be having the arrows pointing down at the other end. So as you can tell, I've got a very good fit. Like I don't have any clamps on it yet and like there's barely any gaps. So I'm pretty happy with that.
So I've played this section already and uh, after doing so I made sure that my, my square was thin, that, that my uh, side was square with the top and uh, so that's good on both sides. So now what I can do is uh, do the other one. So I'm going to have a three piece on this side and a three piece on the other side. So basically what I'm going to do is push this one in. I'm not putting any glue right now because I want to be able to plane this one by itself. And then I'm going to apply glue on those ones just to be able to do the glue up of those three pieces. So here I skipped ahead a bit and uh, basically what's missing is just the glue up of the two sides. So like two blocks of three pieces. Uh, once those blocks were uh, glued, I just put them in the planer to, to get the, cl the, the thickness closer to uh, the center block. And then I did a uh, glue up of the full assembly and I was playing it down to, to get like a flat surface. Uh, here what I'm doing on the top, on the bench top, is uh, just cutting the tenon at the end. So I'll be able to put my uh, end cap piece. So I'm using uh, a down cut bit and I'm doing a few passes. Here's the same bit in my uh, router table and uh, I'm just doing the recess of those end blocks. Cutting the ends so the tenon doesn't show. Then uh, I'm drilling some holes here for the for the lag bolts to first to center to find my center for the outside. And then uh, that's gonna be the recess for the head of the lag bolt. And I'm just uh, hammering it in, and then I'll be putting, uh, uh, I'll be uh, drilling, uh, pre, pre-drilling some holes, and then uh, I'll be able to uh, put the, some lag bolts in. So I'm using my number five plane to even out the side with the top. Once that, once I'm done with that, I'll do like a thorough sanding of the whole top, and then I'll be uh, putting a protective coat on it. So on the next video, I'll be putting the top onto the workbench, and I'll be adding some uh, doors and some shelvings as well in that unit. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time.